Hello everyone, welcome to Bible Exam Prep. So in this Ecopedia session, I am going to discuss a received power with the reflection efficiency. So we have already discussed the field transmission equation where you can get the received power that uh, by the one antenna you transmit the power and by the some other antenna which is at some distance d, you can receive the power. And how can we write this particular equation that also we have discussed. Now, this in the other Ecopedia session, you can see that. Now I am going to tell you that what happens if the transmission line by which you are actually connecting the antenna, if suppose the impedance does not match with the input impedance of the antenna, then what will happen? So let's see. So suppose this is a transmission and a transmitter and this transmitter is connected with this antenna by a transmission line and then it is having the mismatch impedance, right? It, it is having the mismatch impedance. What does it mean? That means the input impedance of the antenna is not matching with the characteristic impedance of the antenna. So in this case, you will get the reflection efficiency. So that is known as gamma T that is in the transmitter side. And this is, okay, so this is nothing but a epsilon R. This is, that is the reflection efficiency for the transmitter side. One minus gamma T mod square. Okay, so this term that you have to include if the transmission line given to you is not matched with the antenna. Similarly, for the receiver side, this is epsilon r and r, that is in the receiver side, this is 1 minus gamma r mod square. So this is another thing that you can have, that is the reflection efficiency at the receiving side. That means the receiving antenna impedance is not matching with the transmission line impedance, then you will get this particular reflection. And whenever you get the reflection, you can calculate the reflection efficiency. Then what will be the received power equation? So that is the received power equation when everything is matched. Everything is matched means uh, there is a polarization match. There is a uh, matching between the transmission line and input impedance of the antenna. If there is a perfect match, then you will get the received power as this equation that we have already derived in the previous Ecopedia session. Now, coming to this part, that when you have to include this, okay, when you have to include this, then the received power is ET, GD, transmitter, GD, receiver, lambda upon 4 pi r whole square, and it is 1 minus magnitude of gamma t square, and 1 minus magnitude of gamma r. So that is the final formula you will get whenever you will have the reflection efficiency in your picture, right? In the transmission line, if there is a reflection efficiency, then that is nothing but a gamma t, which is nothing but the zg minus z0 divided by zg plus z0, which where the zg is the generator impedance. And what about the gamma r? Gamma r is zl minus z0 divided by zl plus z0. So the load will be the input impedance of the antenna and the characteristic impedance and here in this case, uh, here also actually I should write in this way, instead of ZG, you can write the Z in because input impedance of the antenna you have to consider, okay, instead of ZG, you can write Z in. So Z in, that is the input impedance of the antenna and here also the input impedance of the receiving antenna. So in this way, when you know this reflection efficiency comes in your question, so you just apply this fixed transmission equation to calculate the received power. So just stay tuned with us and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this session.